awesome patrons. I am bringing you an exclusive video for you eyes only. <laughs> I actually got ready for this one. As y'all have seen, maybe y'all have seen, maybe not. I had a like a Chic Sparrow haul trip rambles video. And in that video, I bust out this puppy. This is my A5. I love this notebook. I wanted to give you kind of like a tutorial on how I am approaching faces and like I was like super blessed by Jennifer Harvey showing me the trick with the the face thing and I actually saw another thing I watched another video of another way that you can do it and so I've been trying to try in both ways and don't you just love it when your camera shuts off on you yeah okay so it did so I gotta re go with my brain where was I Okay, yes, I had saw another way to do faces too, and so I've been practicing experimenting, experiment, experimenting. I'm experimenting, I'm experimenting with how, like this is one that I did using the other method, and so it's still though, they still kind of work out to be the same. I just wanted to give you some of my like, things that I've been doing. So hopefully y'all can get a pencil and a paper and just kind of sketch along with me. It's very free, a free way of doing it. And I, it's like your brain's not engaged. It's almost like only the emotion is. So I don't know, I'll explain more, I guess, as I get into it, but hopefully you enjoy this video and um, dogs. Yeah, let's just get right into it. So I wanted to come, or wanted to come, I wanted to show y'all some of the stuff I've been doing and kind of give you a little, just like a quick, like what I've been doing just quick. Like I do it here, I did a quick sketch and like this was a super quick sketch. This took me less than a minute to do and I just loved how it turned out and so I'm learning how to just, now that I've kind of got the proportions correct, just to be free, just to freely express, you know, kind of how I'm feeling in a face. And so some of my favorite tools to use for this are the China markers, the Sharpie China marker. I love that. It's nice and black. I also really enjoy using this peel and sketch charcoal pencil. It's nice and fat and thick and it's from um, General Pencil and you can get them at like Michael's I think. And I use them and I actually, because it's charcoal, you can take a water brush and you can make shadows and stuff with your lines. I'm not going to show you in here or over here. So that's a fun one to use. Now it's important that if you're going to be working a lot like doing this number a lot, then you should probably get like a workable fixative so that you can continue to work if you want to and then that the charcoal won't move around and smudge everywhere. One of the other things that I'm loving is my new pencil. I got this up in Spokane and it's a mechanical pencil and what I use it for is for starting out just my my lines to start out to see where my you know where my features are gonna be and this is a very light lead I believe it's like 3 H lead so it's super hard and so it's really really light and um, so I got this pencil up there and I do have an eraser now I used to try the whole Jane Davenport thing where you you just live with your lines but honestly I was finding myself like kicking myself and getting so upset with myself every time I would try that because it was not it just wasn't I wasn't there yet I could not do a line and be happy with it I would just be miserable trying to make these lines that look like crap and so you know what I use an eraser now and I'm much happier with my eraser I'm not a perfectionist I just wanted to enjoy what I was doing and then uh, of course so there's a white China marker for highlights and stuff and then something else that I've loved this is like my new favorite toy it's a paint it's by Derwent it's called graphic line painter this is a 0.5 and what it is it's a it's a paint in this little pen and what you can do like if you look over here I've used it to just kind of do you know stuff so like this was charcoal I used charcoal for this and then I did some water on it and then I did a little bit of Sharpie and then I used this kind of just randomly like I did the catch lights with this graphic and they have more colors and you better believe me oh my gosh you better believe I'm getting more of these because they are so cool they're they're a fine line and I do like 
the paint, the big fat chunky ones, but I'm really loving, loving, loving the little fine ones. And I believe I bought this for a few dollars at that Whimsadoodle store. I just picked it up on a whim. Ha! Whimsadoodle. Kek, kek. I ended up really, really liking it. So, um, I am doing a video on how I make these just cheapo watercolor inserts and they're literally just it's just watercolor it's so easy to do y'all and i wanted to put that on my public channel just because i think a lot of people would would actually do more art if they had something that was just kind of something they did and then they're not afraid to use and so i'm gonna be doing that real soon and i ended up i had it stapled but i did end up um sewing it because it just is the staples came out because i'm using it a lot this is coming soon and let's just use, I'll just use this side. So I can put it back in here because I love my journal. Okay, so what I'm doing is, because it's a tutorial, obviously I'm not as free, but when I'm sitting down now to draw, I'm trying not to overthink it. When I start overthinking things, that's when stuff kind of starts going wonky. And so like this, I do not, I wasn't really thinking much when I drew this. I wasn't really thinking much when I drew this. And they ended up being amazing. I was thinking a little too much when I did this. So, you know, and I filmed this and I was at the airport and it was fun. But I don't know. I'm learning that when my mind is like less engaged on the analytical side, I'm having more fun with it. So I'm taking this super light pencil and I'm just going to like do a, a standard face. So I'm doing a line up here, a line here. It really doesn't matter where you put your lines, like how big or small. You could do a teeny tiny little face and like a body or something, as long as your eye line is in the center. Okay. So these are like my light lines, but the nose is going to be almost halfway, you know, between these two marks, the middle and the bottom. And then the mouth is going to be just right under the nose. Okay, so these are my marks. I don't know if that's picking up. I might should do it darker. I'm gonna use the, the charcoal to kind of show you how I've been really enjoying this. So when I'm doing the face, my, my most joy has been coming from just like doing a couple lines like this, like just simple lines, okay? And then just kind of doing like, look at this. I'm not even like really caring about it. I'm just kind of blobbing a couple, you know, eye pupils or whatever. And then, I am going to make my nose. Now this one, for some reason, oh, it's because I accidentally moved my mark. That's okay. I'm literally just doing like a, I don't know, like a little tiny half, not a half moon, but just like a little scoop, like something like this, you know, and then kind of doing little teardrops on the edge edges so just and it doesn't even look like anything it looks like a, just a you know a line but eyebrows just kind of scribbling on I'm not really thinking much about it and a, a lip to me kind of looks like a seagull like one of those like how a child would draw a seagull at the top and then I'm just kind of like doing a little following the lines I don't know if this is helping or not so there is my generalized face. I really wasn't thinking about it much at all. I don't like thinking about it. So you have your eye line, okay? You have your nose right here. You have some lips and there's some great books out there that help you with like the really getting down to these features. I can do like a set of lips without a face, like I'm pretty good. I can do a nose all right. When I start putting stuff together, that's when I, that's when I mess up. So I'm trying to keep it like just simple. So now I'm just going to kind of, kind of write, do a facial shape. I'm not going to really, again, I don't want to think about it. Like I don't want to think about, oh, is this going to be too whatever? I'm just going to do it. Okay. So I'm just kind of scribbling right here. So I actually went a little bit lower. That's okay though, we'll make it work. And then I'm gonna just kind of, the ears are, are about the eye to about the bottom of the nose. So like that. So there you go. Just scribbled some face shape, whatever. And I can do hair now. 
And I'm not, again, look, I'm not even like really thinking about it. I'm just drawing lines. I'm telling you the truth. If you don't think about it, your intuition and how you always see faces every single day will come out. I promise. That's how it's been for me. I think like subconsciously, I know what a face looks like, but I think I overthink it. So I've been learning that if I just don't overthink it, then it usually turns out a lot better. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So there's kind of like a face shape. It's not perfect. And I don't care, that's fine that it's not perfect. And so now what I'm gonna do is because I use charcoal, again, these were very simple lines, extremely simple lines. Just this is a sketchy kind of a look. So I have this line, a little blob for a pupil, a little swoop with little teardrops for a nose, a seagull right here with another kind of a seagull underneath with a little line here, some little lines for the eyebrows and kind of a face shape, it's not perfect, obviously you can see I went over it several times. I added myself a neck and some hair, making sure that the top of the head is still gonna be, you know, making the eyes middle or else it'll look like the rug rack thing like I was doing forever. So yeah, so that's what we have. And let's see here, let's get a brush. I found my number 12 brush finally, but I'm gonna use a different one, I'm using eight. I think this is an eight, it's a four, four is fine. So because this is charcoal, you can move it around, which has been a lot of fun for me to do. So just take a little bit of water and see, look, I could take this charcoal and start making some shadows here, which are so much fun. And all I'm doing is just kind of moving it around. Again, don't overthink it. Just kind of moving it. Also with the lips, I have learned that the top lip usually is darker because the bottom lip usually protrudes out further than the top lip, so it's usually darker. Okay, and then I'm gonna give her a shadow here on her neckline. Because that's like if the light source is coming this way and I have the shadow on the right side of her nose, then this will also be the part of her face that has shadow too, right? So I just usually kind of give this a little bit of shadowing right here. And leave some of these lines. I always like to leave some of them because they're fun. I should, I don't have any workable fixative yet. I need to get some. And then I want to add a little bit of like here. There. Yeah, so that's that. Cool beans. So I've drawn my little sketchy face and I think, I don't know if this will erase or not. Oh yeah, it will. Look at that. Charcoal erased. <sighs> Hallelujah. Now if I wanted to, then I can go back in with like a little bit of watercolor if I wanted to. Also another thing that I can do if it gets like, if I were to have smudged a lot of this uh, graphite away, you can go back with the charcoal, or not charcoal, the Sharpie pencil. And sometimes when it's dry, it's not dry right now, this is totally wet, I'll go in and make some like random lines and whatever. But right now it's kind of wet. And when it dries, you can go in and highlight. And just to let you know, the background on this was like leftovers from, I think it was leftovers from this or something else. Oftentimes, if I am using, I think it was maybe this stencil, or if I'm using a stencil on something, where was it? I don't know what it was on, but if I'm using a stencil and I have leftovers, see how just this looks like it's just been on? Well, that's because I did. That's exactly what I did. I just smushed it on a page and I smushed this on a page and I just do that because someday I'll find something that speaks to me in that blot. I'll, I'll, blob, I'll see an eye, like I saw kind of an eye right here and I'll just go back and do stuff with it. I'm just learning to not be such a perfectionist. Oh my goodness, Ellie, don't be a perfectionist. It's so annoying. So let me come in with just a little bit of stuff. I like using some purples for shadows too. And one of my favorite is called Shadow Violet. And so I'm gonna go in here with some 
purple, shadow violet, and then I'm going to come in with some Potter's Pink and kind of like make some like eye makeup kind of looking stuff. Not thinking about it too much. Not anymore. I try not to. I'm going to even give her some like cheekies. Everyone needs some cheeks. They don't have to, but. Okay. That's good, I think. We can even add a little bit of color. You know, it'd be pretty. It's like some of this am amosonite. I can never say that right the first time. Just like kind of add it the top here, just randomly. Maybe on the side a little bit. See, I'm just kind of being random and just letting my brain take a vacation. I think this is why I'm liking arting so much. My brain can take a vacation and I can just enjoy myself in the moment, you know? There. We'll do that. And then maybe some like Quinn Gold, just for good measure, because it's fun. Just for fun. And so the last thing I'm gonna do that I have really been enjoying, again, using this graphics graphic marker, I'm gonna um, dry this. Ah, there goes my turbo glue. My goodness, using this graphics marker, and I'm getting other colors because I do love this minty color, but I really want some other colors. But I'm gonna go in and just kind of like, one of my favorite things to do is just kind of outlining it again, kind of like how I did here. Outlining some features again. See how I did this in her lips and I'm doing the catch lights and you know, highlight, like highlighting almost. So do this again in her lips and do a this number, maybe going back into her nose and going this way, doing some catch lights. Try not to think about it too much. I keep saying that, but it's so important. I don't think we realize how much we try to control our art, you know? So see how it's very subtle, this 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 marker is so subtle, but it is so awesome. And I'm actually gonna create the that thing. Kind of like how that's turning out. And then another thing that I kind of like to do, you'll see it here, is just kind of doodle around the outside. See, I'm doing a bunch of these circle things. We could do other shapes too. Let's try triangles this time. Just try triangles, just a bunch of different triangles. And then another thing, just doodling around it. Just, again, not thinking about it. Don't think too much. I think I like that. So, that is kind of like, I don't know if that helped and I don't know if I went too fast, but just to show you the process that I'm going through, I'm sketching one of these faces that you've seen me doing recently. They don't take any time at all because I'm not giving my brain enough time to think about it because I just, I just got to let go. The only thing that I'm thinking about at the beginning is with my light pencil, I'm making my marks of where my features are gonna go. And then after that, I just, I take, I let my brain take a vacay. <laughs> and then I just start kind of, you know, like just taking the pencil and start going. That's how this lady turned out. That's how this one turned out. And it's just, it's been so much fun to just see the, the little people that are developing through just allowing my heart to flow through the pencil instead of my analytical brain and all my control freak. So 
I wanted to just kind of give you all that video to say it's okay to let go. It's okay to just literally, it almost feels as if you're like a little kid again scribbling, but you will be so surprised at what comes out if you just are courageous enough to be a little kid again and just go for it and don't think with your adult mind about it and be super innocent about it. I think you'll be really surprised at what comes out because this is all this. All of this is me letting go. I'm just letting go and I'm like, you know what? I don't care what anyone says anymore. I don't care what I say anymore. I'm just gonna go for it and have fun. And so, yeah, I really hope that it helps encourage you to start drawing. You don't have to draw faces. You can draw anything. Like, I can attempt to draw, you know, a horse again. It's not going to look like a realism horse because I don't draw that way. But I'm going to figure out, like, when I'm drawing, I'm going to be like a little kid and just see what happens. And who knows? I might figure out something brilliant. It's just you got to be courageous enough to try. And so I just really encourage you all. To, to go for it, to try some of these like kind of sloppy sketches and, and see how, the freedom that it comes. I really would be interested in seeing if you're liberated by this or not, because it sure has liberated me. And um, again, this was just super quick and it was fun. Thanks so much for all of your support. I really can't wait to see some more of your stuff. And I know I've been more of an art kick lately and I need to get back into my journaling. Honestly, I haven't been journaling very much because I've been having so much fun with the art, but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because I'm having fun and I am doing something artsy. Thanks again, y'all, for your support. Please um, post your creations on the community tab of the Patreon page. I don't know how to get to it on the phone, but I know on the computer, there's like, it says like, you know, profile or something and then posts and then community and on the community tab you can post your stuff and we all can see them and encourage each other and I just love the little community that we have over here on the Patreon so thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to y'all later bye